Welcome to FarmGrow. In this presentation, we will see the classification of change controls raised in pharmaceutical industry. Broadly, change controls raised in pharmaceutical industry are classified into the three main categories that is minor change control, moderate change control and major change controls. Prior to start with the change control classification, we will relook the concept of change control. Change controls are used to control over the proposed changes in the pharmaceutical industry. Change control is a systemic approach to managing and documenting all changes made to product, facility, system, equipment, documents, processes, etc. First class of change controls is the minor change controls. As we are dealing with the change controls raised in the pharmaceutical industry, we should evaluate the impact of proposed changes on the SISPQ of a product. SISPQ of the product means the safety of the product, identity of the product, strength of the product, purity of the product and quality of the product. If the proposed changes is unlikely to have an impact on this SISPQ, then we surely classify it as a minor. Unlikely to have an impact on the quality or process attributes of the product, this type of changes can be categorized under minor change control category. Minor changes does not alter process significantly. This changes does not require uh, additional testing or the revalidations or the requirement if identified it is very minimum minor change controls doesn't have an impact on the regulatory filings and these are majorly initiated for the improvement of the procedures or the processes Here are the few examples of the minor change controls. Changes in the SOPs or the any QMS document like protocols for merging of content, deletion of repetitive instructions, alignmental changes, typographical error correction with the supporting data shall be categorized under minor change control category. Change in secondary packing material without affecting or the altering the identification of product can be classified under minor change control category. Change in qualification or validation documentation due to parameters supported by the validation that also can be classified under a minor change control category. Next class of change control is the moderate change controls. Moderate change controls are usually taken for the improvement of process, product, materials or the systems. These changes may have an impact on the quality or process attributes of the product. So while proposing these changes, a proper evaluation shall be done for the additional testing, additional qualification requirements and their full implements. These moderate change controls may not have an impact on the regulatory status of the product. Here are the few examples of the moderate change controls. Transfer of fixed manufacturing equipments from one line to another line shall be categorized under moderate change controls. In case of the oral solid dosage forms, if we are shifting the fluidized bed dryer compression machines or the coaters from one area to the another line, this requires a relocation assessment for that equipment for the new location. This type of a changes shall be categorized under a moderate change controls. In case of injectables, if we are shifting the fixed manufacturing tanks from one area to another area, this type of a change shall be categorized under moderate change control. Change in source of any excipient which may have impact on the final quality of the material shall be categorized under moderate change controls. Change in qualification or validation documentation due to revision of guidance or harmonization practices shall be categorized under moderate change controls. Next class of change controls is major change controls. As we have discussed in the minor change control category, the concept of SISPQ. If the proposed change is likely to have an impact on safety of product, identity of product, strength of the product, purity of the product or quality of the product, then this change shall be categorized under major change controls. Proposal of major change requires a additional or the major testings or a suitable requalification or revalidation studies to justify the proposed change. Proper impact assessment for the proposed changes shall be required for the changes proposed under the major change control category. Major changes are likely to have an impact on the critical attributes of process, procedures or product. 
these changes could shift process significantly affecting the quality yield stability impurity profile etc major change controls may have an impact on regulatory status of the product processes or they have an impact on facility or the systems here are the few examples of the major changes relaxing acceptance criteria or dating a test for a raw material or the drug product shall be categorized under major change controls as this change may have an impact on strength of a product so this change shall be categorized under major change controls change in primary packing material shall be categorized under major changes as this change may have an impact on identity of a product change in test methods having impact on previous test validations shall be categorized under major changes thank you for watching video please subscribe to channel to watch more videos related to pharmaceutical industry